Hi, my name is Rebecca Ramnath. I'm a PhD student with the Social Robotics Lab here at Yale University. I am presenting our study on a social robot for improving interruptions tolerance and employability in adults with autism. There are many robot-based interventions that provide on-demand, personalized social skills training for, for autism. And looking at these pictures, these studies seem to have one main thing in common. They're designed for children. Most, if not all, robot-based interventions for autism are designed for children. But children eventually grow up and become adults. What kind of support exists for adults with autism? Therefore, we designed the first ever system that targets social skills training for adults with autism in their homes. Finding and maintaining a job is an important milestone of adulthood. Over 85% of adults with autism are chronically unemployed or underemployed. So the service gap here is extremely large. And as a result, we set out to design a system that would be the first attempt to addressing this problem. We interviewed 35 adults with autism on the potential barriers to their employment. Many spoke about the impact of interruptions. According to our survey responses, it takes over six minutes for an adult with autism to resume a task once interrupted. One participant with autism explained how disruptive interruptions can be. She says, that's how I am. I'm perfectly focused in the moment and getting things done. But then I'm interrupted and it derails me. It takes me a while to get back on task and even longer to deal with my frustration. And sometimes I take it out on the people around me. And sometimes I just feel silly for just not knowing what to do. So the ability to handle and answer and recover from interruptions quickly and appropriately is an essential skill for everyone. But training can be especially helpful for people who find interruptions to be socially impactful. Leveraging our previous successes in building social robots for autism, we developed ISTAR, the Interruption Skills Training and Assessment Robot. ISTAR is an in-home, fully autonomous training system that allows adults with autism to practice handling interruptions. So building a system like ISTAR is technically interesting and speaks to a lot of the prevailing challenges of social robot design, such as operating in the home. So like a workplace environment and very much unlike a clinic or a lab setting, users in the home experience a dynamic, unstructured environment that requires immediate or unplanned actions and decisions. And the familiarity of the home provides less stigmatizing and more comfortable learning experiences. ISTAR as an in-home system gives users greater autonomy over their training conditions because they get to choose where and when training takes place. ISTAR is designed to be fully autonomous. Due to the current pandemic, we designed the system to be deployed without any physical contact between any of the researchers and our participants. So ISTAR has an out-of-the-box, intuitive, robust design that requires no researcher intervention to maintain it or set it up. The system is realistic, meaning that the interaction is designed to look and feel natural. The robot provides relevant, interactive content and responds in real time. So these design goals come together to provide effective training. The final system is configured to interrupt users during a two hour training window each day for seven days. And its various interruptions demand different skills and types of responses. With diverse and relevant training, we expect users to improve their tolerance to interruptions. And this means over time, we expect they will respond more quickly to interruptions and then resume their original tasks more quickly after interruptions. So an interaction with ISTAR has five main steps. During the time window defined by the user, ISTAR will be in the idle state while the user engages in typical in-home activities. So in this example, a user is reading a book, which we identify as the user's primary task. At a random time during the training period, ISTAR will wake up and deliver an interruption prompt. In this example, ISTAR asks, are you going to the meeting today? And this is the beginning of the interaction. 
The user is expected to pause the primary task, look at the robot, and address the interruption prompt. For example, this user responds, no, but I will be at the meeting tomorrow. So here we introduce a metric for evaluating the training. We categorize the amount of time it takes a user to address the interruption as the interruption lag. So we monitor changes in interruption lag to see if the users respond to interruptions more quickly as a result of the training with ISTAR. Next, ISTAR thanks the user after he's completed his response. And finally, ISTAR restur- returns to an idle state. In practicing with ISTAR, we expect users over time will quickly return to their original task after experiencing an interruption. We call this the resumption lag, and that's the time needed to return to an original task after an interruption is over. So interruption lag and resumption lag are two primary metrics for evaluating whether training with ISTAR is effective. We also track whether the user shows appropriate social behavior, such as consistently engaging in eye contact with the robot and giving relevant and complete responses to the interruptions. The best evaluation of ISTAR is in the actual homes of adults with autism. And we deploy 12 systems. Participants place the robot in whichever room they felt the most comfortable engaging in training They also specified a two hour time window for training. Some participants chose to place the robot in the kitchen, on the coffee table in their living room, or on the desk in their bedroom. And our participants chose to engage in training at various times, some in the early morning, some at the late at night. So here are some examples of interruptions given by iStar. Type in the number of eggs that are typically in a carton. I appreciate your response. Are you going to the meeting next week? Okay. Thank you. Nobody likes to be interrupted. (laughs) So we're excited to see how quickly adults with autism accepted ISTAR into their homes and how consistently they interacted with its training prompts over the the week-long study. We also found that training resulted in a significant decrease in interruption lag In other words, training with ISTAR significantly improved our participants' ability to attend more quickly to interruptions in just seven days. And that's an impressive result. Long-term behavioral change can take several weeks to achieve, but within just one week, ISTAR helped our users more quickly pause their original activities, address interruptions appropriately and completely, and then successfully return to their original activities. And I'm excited to explore whether a longer term study would result in significant decrease in resumption lag as well. So first, a robot system that's built to interrupt you in your home, you would imagine our users would find it kind of annoying. But many of our users described the iStar as friendly and approachable and not overstimulating. The mother of one of our participants said her daughter absolutely loved it. As soon as ISTAR came into her apartment, it sparked her. She liked the way it moved, its personality, and she just came to life. And ISTAR operated autonomously for a total of 1,680 hours, successfully delivering 70 training sessions. And all 12 systems were deployed and set up completely without the research team making direct contact with the users or their homes. One participant who was employed at the time of the study commented on how relevant the training was to his current job. He says, ISTAR could help me with situations at work when I'm dealing mainly with frustration, like when I'm handling multiple customers. So in summary, interactions with ISTAR are productive. Our in-home evaluation gives statistical support that ISTAR can be an effective training system for handling interruptions better. 
iSTAR is the first ever system designed for social skills training for adults with autism. So for more information, please see our paper. Thank you.